Hi guys, it's Olivia here from Olivia's Catastrophe, here to give you a book haul today. As well as books, there are also going to be a couple of other things in this book haul. So it's not just a book haul, basically a haul. And there's going to be some DVDs and some nail polish as well, because those are some other things that I really, really like. So let's get started straight away. The first book I have for you is The Boy in the Box by Christopher Michael. I was actually sent this one for review, and it's about this town where a double murder occurs and this boy is basically living in a box, he lives an introverted life, he's quiet and it's the result of a really complicated family. What happens is this girl moves into this town and gradually she starts to open him up a bit and he's coming out of his box and that's what this one is about and I just really love the colours of this cover, like this type of orange it's my favourite colour, like favourite colour. Okay, the second book I have for you is Invisible Rings by Janelle Rhiannon. I read a book called Uncross These Stars by this author. I loved it. It was for review and I just loved it so much that I asked, can I have another book from yours to review? And so she gave me this one. It's about a girl who finds out she's an angel on her 12th birthday, but there is this huge catch to it and this almost like a prophecy that she needs to fulfill and it might be not in her favour. So that's what this one is about. And I just love the author's name. Doesn't Janelle Rhiannon sound so beautiful? I think it does. Next book I won in a giveaway. It is Where You'll Find Me by Erin Fletcher. And it's about this girl who finds a guy living in her garage. And in the end, they kind of start to bond and fall in love. And she doesn't ask why he's in the garage. And he doesn't ask too many questions about her. And in the end, she finds out on the television that he's a fugitive and she's harboring him in the garage and basically once she gets to know her story she wonders who is this person that she's actually fallen in love with. Who is he really? And I think it sounds like a good book. I can't wait to read it. Witch Quarter by Katerina West. Such a beautiful name as well. And it's about this guy who is a fashion designer and basically his biggest enemy is his own mind. He can't stop throwing away his designs, getting rid of them. He makes them, he doesn't like them, and gets rid of them. But in the end, the designs that he makes, the dresses and the clothes, end up being for evil instead and some whole witchcraft going on there that he didn't know about originally. Actually, the book has a different cover. This is the advanced copy for review cover. And if you see the real cover, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's one of the main reasons I wanted to read this. So I'm a bit sad that I don't have the cover. If I really like it, then maybe I'll buy it with a nice cover, but you should go and check that cover out, Witchcraft Culture. Great cover. Two books in this book haul are ones that I've wanted for a while, and it's Laurel and the Boy Next Door and Isla and the Happily Ever After by Stephanie Perkins. Now, both of these books are in a trilogy. They're kind of loosely connected. I think in the other books, the ones from the previous books make a cameo appearance. I actually have the first book in this series, Anne and the French Kiss. I still have yet to read it, but I'm going to read all three of these, like, marathon them one after the other for my 2015 reading challenge, and I'm just looking forward to them so much. Lola and the Boy Next Door is about this girl who seems to have it all, and in the end, she finds out that when people from her childhood move into the city, she finds out that they're unearthing her past and it might not be as great as it seems. And maybe she is in love with the boy next door after all. And in Isla and the Happily Ever After, there's this couple who have just been in love during college and she's to go back home and face all the difficulties like parents, relationships, rules and matching their cultures up. So that's what these two books are about. Really looking forward to them. I actually got them because I won a $25 Amazon gift card so it was basically free. That makes me really happy. The next book is Summer Truth by Linda Gatewood. It's actually the third book in the series. I've got the first two on ebook review, so I didn't actually look at the blurb of this one because I don't want any spoilers. I am the master at avoiding spoilers, so I can't really tell you what this one is about, but I'm sure you can look it up. I'll leave a link below to the Goodreads for this one so you can look up what it's about if you want to. The next book is Lone Sum by Megan McLaughlin. I don't know how to pronounce that. I really like the cover. I just, I don't know why, but I really love this. And it's about this adult who works at a library, gets fired from her job, goes a bit crazy, gets a new job at this library called Lonesome, where they want all different types of people. And she ends up finding out that one of her assignments has her mother in it, and her mother has abandoned her 30 years ago. So she's going to have to face that problem while starting at a new job. 
So I, it's a really short book, really quick, and I'm sure I can just fly through it in a day. But it sounds interesting to me. And librarians, I mean, every reader loves librarians. The last book that I have for you is also another giveaway win. It's Tequila and Tea Bags by Laura Barnard. And it's about, I actually like the idea of this one, it's about a girl who can win a flight to wherever she wants, a trip to wherever she wants, if she does the most voluntary work in a village. So she goes to this village, but she doesn't expect to have so much fun helping out with the elderly and whatever she's doing, and falling in love with the village itself. So the question is, will she win this competition? And in the end, will she actually want to leave the village and go back to her old life or somewhere else? So I do like the idea of this one, the concept is really nice. Time to move on to some DVDs. I'm hoping to get some movie reviews up soon, but these are two DVDs that I quickly got, and that is Dark Shadows and The Hobbit Part 1. Now, I really, really did not like The Hobbit. I haven't read any of the Lord of the Rings books. I just read The Hobbit for class a couple of years ago. I just hated it. It was a terrible book. So I bought the first part of the first movie, and I'm hoping that I'm going to enjoy the movies a lot more than I enjoyed the books. I hope so. And as for Dark Shadows, this one has Chloe Grace Mortez in it, and that is basically one of the only reasons I bought this film, because I love her as an actress. And as well as that, it's about vampires, and you can hardly go wrong when it comes to vampires. So that's the reason I got that. And the last thing I would like to show in this video is from a friend. My friend doesn't wear nail polish very often, but she has a lot of nail polish. So what she did was she put the majority of her nail polish in a box, and she gave it to me because she knows how much I love nail polish. So basically, I got 21 bottles of nail polish, and it's actually amazing what she had in her collection because there was so many different kinds of designer brands like Sally Hansen, China Glaze, Gosh, there were just so many different types of nail polish in there, so many different colours, and there's a lot of white. White is what I'm lacking the most, so I was super happy to get this. I'm not going to take them all out and show you because that would take forever, 21, and this is not a nail polish haul, but you can see inside the box, boop, 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 there's a lot of nail polish and hopefully I'll be using them as backgrounds for some designs and getting you to see those designs and maybe tutorials on how to do them as well. So I'm really happy with the collection I've got here and that was my book haul for today. I hope there'll be another one for you in the future and this is Olivia saying goodbye. See you next week!